In electrical and electronic systems, reactance is the opposition of a circuit element to a change in current or voltage, due to that element's inductance or capacitance. The notion of reactance is similar to electrical resistance, but it differs in several respects. In phasor analysis, reactance is used to compute amplitude and phase changes of sinusoidal alternating current going through a circuit element. It is denoted by the symbol X display style script style X. An ideal resistor has zero reactance, whereas ideal inductors and capacitors have zero resistance, that is respond to current only by reactance. The magnitude of the reactance of an inductor rises in proportion to a rise in frequency, while the magnitude of the reactance of a capacitor decreases in proportion to a rise in frequency. As frequency goes up, inductive reactance also goes up and capacitive reactance goes down. Topic: <laughs> Capacitive reactance. A capacitor consists of two conductors separated by an insulator, also known as a dielectric. Capacitive reactance is an opposition to the change of voltage across an element. Capacitive reactance X C is inversely proportional to the signal frequency F display style script style f or angular frequency omega and the capacitance c display style script style c there are two choices in the literature for defining reactance for a capacitor one is to use a uniform notion of reactance as the imaginary part of impedance in which case the reactance of a capacitor is a negative number X C equals minus one Omega C equals minus one two Pi F C Display style x underscore c equals frac one omega c equals frac one two pi f c. Another choice is to define capacitive reactance as a positive number x c equals one omega c equals one two pi f c display style x underscore c equals frac 1 omega c equals frac 1 2 pi f c in this case however one needs to remember to add a negative sign for the impedance of a capacitor i e z c equals minus j X C display style Z underscore C equals J X underscore C. At low frequencies, a capacitor is an open circuit, so no current flows in the dielectric. A DC voltage applied across a capacitor causes positive charge to accumulate on one side and negative charge to accumulate on the other side. The electric field due to the accumulated charge is the source of the opposition to the current. When the potential associated with the charge exactly balances the applied voltage, the current goes to zero. Driven by an AC supply ideal AC current source, a capacitor will only accumulate a limited amount of charge before the potential difference changes polarity and the charge is returned to the source. The higher the frequency, the less charge will accumulate and the smaller the opposition to the current. Inductive reactance. 
Inductive reactance is a property exhibited by an inductor, and inductive reactance exists based on the fact that an electric current produces a magnetic field around it. In the context of an AC circuit, although this concept applies any time current is changing, this magnetic field is constantly changing as a result of current that oscillates back and forth. It is this change in magnetic field that induces another electric current to flow in the same wire, in a direction such as to oppose the flow of the current originally responsible for producing the magnetic field known as Lenz's law. Hence, inductive reactance is an opposition to the change of current through an element. For an ideal inductor in an AC circuit, the inhibitive effect on change in current flow results in a delay, or a phase shift, of the alternating current with respect to alternating voltage. Specifically, an ideal inductor with no resistance will cause the current to lag the voltage by a quarter cycle, or 90 degrees. In electric power systems, inductive reactants and capacitive reactants, however inductive reactants is more common, can limit the power capacity of an AC transmission line, because power is not completely transferred when voltage and current are out of phase detailed above. That is, current will flow for an out of phase system, however, real power at certain times will not be transferred, because there will be points during which instantaneous current is positive while instantaneous voltage is negative, or vice versa, implying negative power transfer. Hence, real work is not performed when power transfer is negative. However, current still flows even when a system is out of phase, which causes transmission lines to heat up due to current flow. Consequently, transmission lines can only heat up so much or else they would physically sag too much, due to the heat expanding the metal transmission lines, so transmission line operators have a ceiling on the amount of current that can flow through a given line, and excessive inductive reactants can limit the power capacity of a line. Power providers utilize capacitors to shift the phase and minimize the losses, based on usage patterns. Inductive reactants X L is proportional to the sinusoidal signal frequency f display style script style f and the inductance l display style script style l which depends on the physical shape of the inductor x l equals omega l equals 2 pi f l display style x underscore l equals omega l equals 2 pi florida the average current flowing through an inductance l display style script style l in series with a sinusoidal ac voltage source of rms amplitude Display style script style a and frequency f display style script style f is equal to i l equals a omega l equals a two pi f L display style i underscore l equals over omega l equals over two pi Florida. Because a square wave has multiple amplitudes at sinusoidal harmonics, the average current flowing through an inductance l display style script style l in series with a square wave AC voltage source of RMS amplitude. Display style script style a and frequency f display style script style f is equal to 
I L equals a pi two eight Omega L equals a pi sixteen F L Display style I underscore L equals a pi carrot two over eight Omega L equals a pi over sixteen Florida making it appear as if the inductive reactance to a square wave was about 19% smaller x l equals 16 pi f l display style x underscore l equals 16 over pi florida then the reactance to the ac sine wave any conductor of finite dimensions has inductance, the inductance is made larger by the multiple turns in an electromagnetic coil. Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction gives the counter EMF E E voltage opposing current due to a rate of change of magnetic flux density B Display style script style B through a current loop E equals minus D phi B D T display style math cal E equals D phi underscore B over D T for an inductor consisting of a coil with N Display style script style n loops. This gives e equals minus n d phi b d t display style math cal e equals n d phi underscore b over d t the counter EMF is the source of the opposition to current flow. A constant direct current has a zero rate of change, and sees an inductor as a short circuit it is typically made from a material with a low resistivity. An alternating current has a time averaged rate of change that is proportional to frequency, this causes the increase in inductive reactance with frequency. topic impedance both reactants x display style script style x and resistance r display style script style r are components of impedance z display style script style z z equals R plus J X display style Z equals R plus J X where Z display style Z is the impedance measured in ohms R display style R is the resistance measured in ohms it is the real part of the impedance R equals Z display style R equals re Z X display style X is the reactance measured in ohms it is the imaginary part of the impedance X equals Z Display style x equals m z j. Display style j is the square root of minus one, usually represented by i. Display style i in non-electrical formulas. J. Display style j is used so as not to confuse the imaginary unit with current, commonly represented by. I 
display style i when both a capacitor and an inductor are placed in series in a circuit, their contributions to the total circuit impedance are opposite. Capacitive reactance X C displaystyle script style X underscore C and inductive reactance X L displaystyle script style X underscore L contribute to the total reactance x display style script style x as follows x equals xl plus xc equals omega l minus 1 omega c display style x equals x underscore l plus x underscore c equals omega l frac 1 omega c where xl display style script style x underscore l is the inductive reactance measured in ohms xc display style script style x underscore c is the capacitive reactance measured in ohms omega Display style omega is the angular frequency two pi display style two pi times the frequency in HZ. Hence, if x greater than zero display style script style x greater than zero, the total reactance is said to be inductive. If x equals zero display style script style x equals zero, then the impedance is purely resistive. If x zero display style script style x, the total reactance is said to be capacitive. Note however that if x L display style script style x underscore L and x C display style script style x underscore C are assumed both positive by definition, then the intermediary formula changes to a difference x equals x l minus x c equals omega l minus 1 omega c Display style x equals x underscore l x underscore c equals omega l frac 1 omega c but the ultimate value is the same. Phase relationship The phase of the voltage across a purely reactive device a capacitor with an infinite resistance or an inductor with a resistance of zero lags the current by π 2 Display style script style pi two radians for a capacitive reactance and leads the current by pi two display style script style pi two radians for an inductive reactance. Without knowledge of both the resistance and reactance, the relationship between voltage and current cannot be determined. The origin of the different signs for capacitive and inductive reactants is the phase factor E plus or minus J pi two display style E caret PMJ pi over two in the impedance Z tilde C equals one Omega C E J minus Pi two equals J minus one Omega C equals J X C Z tilde L equals Omega L E J Pi two 
equals j omega l equals j x l display style begin aligned tilde z underscore c and equals one over omega c e carrot j pi over two equals j left frac one omega c right equals j x underscore c tilde z underscore l and equals omega le carrot j pi over two equals j omega l equals j x underscore l quad end aligned for a reactive component the sinusoidal voltage across the component is in quadrature a pi 2 display style script style pi 2 phase difference with the sinusoidal current through the component the component alternately absorbs energy from the circuit and then returns energy to the circuit thus a pure reactance does not dissipate power Topic. See also Magnetic reactance Susceptance